Hello, I'm Jack and it's January 2024, quoting from Tale of Two Cities, the best of times and the worst of times. Starting off with the good times and a new year full of hope, well we had just one of our seven babies left after Christmas, we'd had a fabulous Christmas. This is Thomas who's posing away happily with his old football medals and with his dad and I think he's got an exciting year coming up. Everything's going his way with Millie, with his job, with his sport, so it's good to see old Thomas. Good to see Bronwyn's new little puppy dog. Very cute. Everybody loves a new puppy, except for their cat, who's not at all happy. This is a mural that we saw in Miami and saw it on the way to the races. Mel's never been to the races, so we went off to the January the 1st races to look at the people as much as the horses. And we've been to a couple of Cotswold churches. I've told you that we've got new electric bikes, Matthew and myself, and that's meant that Matthew's been able to cycle to school, which has been an enormous success. And I've been able to go back up the Cotswold to Scarp and up those big hills in a sit up and beg position. And here's the Dowdswell church looking beautiful in the sunshine. And then on to Broadway, the most expensive cup of coffee we've ever had, but it was worth it just for the environment. Thought we'd just go and few, see a few of these honey pots at kind of outer season. Uh, didn't disappoint, absolutely beautiful. And uh, you can see here the church, get into the church. These wool churches, uh, look at those for a pair of nostrils there. These two nostrils and ruffs, that was the big thing. Uh, and this is Chipping Camden, I think, and the kind of the old marketplace there. And another beautiful, beautiful church with an equally beautiful stained glass window. And even old Stroud, well, that's got a Cotswold church as well. And on the way back, Mel took us off the beaten track and we came across this old uh, monastery, really. It's been a religious community since about the 1950s uh, and was uh, a, a strange place, uh, uh, to, to, to put it mildly. In the garden, well, there's not a lot been going on. Uh, the main thing, really, is the camellias. We can't understand why they bloom in January. How on earth do they propagate? I did not know that squirrels eat camellia flowers. He's picking them off and having a good nibble. Little monkey, coming back for more peanuts. Look at this fat old boy, he's eating a few pies. Look at this little tyke. I think he's managing to get in. Mm, not with these. Hopefully the bluebirds will have some. We've had a couple of trips away as well. The weather's been very kind to us. And uh, both of these have separate videos. So first of all, Dominic and Mariana in Berkeley. And my last chance to go see them before they disappear off to Portugal. That was just great. Thank you both. And Charlie and Lizzie, well, they kindly threw us out of our house. So we walked up the Sugarloaf and then went on to Brecon with its cathedral and its waterfalls. We saw the waterfalls in the opening photograph. Because this is the worst of times as well. Uh, we were hit with the news that our dear, dear friend Nigel had passed away uh, and it's just an enormous loss to Janet, to family, to friends, to all of us. And for me, well, it kind of feels like a wound. And then it's not getting much better with my mum. She's been like this for the better part of a year now. Going to see mum. She should have passed away a year ago. I was given antibiotics. And same again now, uh, more antibiotics. So she's just sleeping really. Poor, poor thing. It should never have come to this. Fast asleep, eh? What's your machine on? You're a good girl, but they shouldn't have done this to you, Mum. I'm sorry. I don't want to finish like this. My mum was a magnificent woman. We were great friends. I just wish I could have done a bit more for her. And I just wish I could have done a bit more for Nigel as well. So despite all the good things, it's been a tough, tough month.